here we go. We're going to make pad thai noodles, so Thai noodles. I'm not going to make them with tamarind, which is more traditional. Basically, pad thai noodles means stir-fry noodles. I'm going to make them with something called kekat manis, which is Indonesian soy sauce. But if you haven't got that, you can use light soy sauce. I'm going to also use some Thai chilli sauce because it's just delicious. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to put some paprika in it, just normal paprika, and that's really, really tasty. It really lifts the flavour up. I'm going to use rapeseed oil to cook it with. And I'm also going to get my wok hot. I'm using pad thai noodles. They're just about ready, so I'm just going to pour these into here to drain. I've been soaking those for about six or seven minutes in boiling hot water. That'll do. I'll pretend I've got them all out, shall I? Yeah, no one will know. Um, so they're ready to go. And then I've got the other ingredients here. I'm going to finish it off with some fish sauce and some lime. And I'm also going to garnish it with some coriander and some peanuts as well, lightly crushed. So I'm just going to get those, get everything ready to go. And then literally it is like a five minute dish to cook. So just a little bit of prep. Now, of course, you could put whatever you fancy in it. This is just a very basic recipe. You can put your seafood in there. You can put your chicken in there, your pork, whatever you, whatever you fancy. Or anything you want to use up in your fridge, like courgettes, peppers, all that sort of stuff. So my carrot, I'm just going to trim again, down the middle, slice it so it doesn't roll away, and then into little battens, little strips. Get those done quick. I've never chopped them so quick. No attention to detail. No, it'll do. They'll be fine. And then our spring onions, just trim a little bit at the bottom, a little bit at the top, and then we're just going to slice those slightly at an angle just because they look nice. Keep everything separate as well when you're working so you can cook them all at different times. I'm going to use some garlic in there, so I'm just going to crush that down. So I can peel it and then I'm just going to chop that up roughly but again you could if you wanted to just put it through a crusher that's fine or sliced if you want to taste it a little bit more what else have I got just some chili so I'm going to put a little bit of chili in there as well optional ingredient now I keep my chilies in the freezer because they chop really nice from frozen and I'm just going to probably put in what I fancy I know they're not that spicy, but just about a teaspoon, but it's up to you, how, however you like it. So they're the noodles we used. So that's everything prepped, everything ready. Get our wok on, get that nice and hot. Got a brand new wok. You don't want to look at the state of my other one. So get that nice and hot, and I've got some cold pressed rapeseed oil. Really lovely, natural, nutty flavour that we've talked about before. So that's nice and hot. Round the outside, so that coats, coats it all over and coats the middle as well. And then the first thing we're going to fry is our onions. Always your onions first, because if you put your garlic in, then it just goes, turns bitter. You don't want that. Give that a little stir fry. The next thing I'm going to put in is the garlic, so we can start getting the flavour going in there. And then because all uh, spices should be cooked out, I'm going to put that in there too. So I'm going to put about a teaspoon in there. Let that cook up. You can smell it, it's beautiful. And because the carrots are hard, I'm going to put those in there next. And hopefully the steam will just carry on cooking those. Now a little tip, if you don't want to use too much oil, you can just use a little bit of water or the water you use for the noodles. And as you can see, it creates a nice steam. Use less oil. And it softens it up really, really quickly. So we've got lovely, lovely flavours in there. Going to use everything else to finish off. Going to put our noodles in there now. And toss that round. So your recipes are just to the side. And you can see, because you put a little bit of that water in, and because you put that paprika in, it's already coated those noodles, and those noodles are just going to suck up all that lovely flavour. And I've used half a packet of rice noodles. So about 200 grams, give you about two portions. Turn it down a little bit now, just to finish it off. So I've got my, that's basically it. So I'm just going to finish it off now. So I've got my chilli going in there. Just 
toss that round so you get a little bit of pepper chilli every now and then. Then I've got my coriander to go on top. I love coriander, so I'm going to use a lot of it. I've got some crispy onions. So these are Thai crispy onions, and they're just lovely to add a little bit of crunch to the top. And then I'm going to put my peanuts in as well. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit of Thai chilli sauce. However much you fancy, however much you can take. And then I'm saying I'm going to add in my kekat manis, which is the Indonesian, oh, Indonesian soy sauce. It's usually thicker than this. I accidentally washed it and put a little bit of water in there. Pretend that didn't happen as well. Stir fry that all round. So that is just beautiful as it is. But if you want to make it more Thai, you can add a little bit of lime and fish sauce. So a little bit of lime and fish sauce, but that's optional. You don't have to do that. And if you were to make a tamarind version, don't use the kekat menis, don't use the Thai chilli sauce, and just put a tablespoon of tamarind watered down paste in it as well. And that's it. How quick was that? Five minutes to soak the noodles, five or six minutes to soak the noodles. Five, while they're soaking, you get all your prep done, and then you cook it in about five minutes. And that is so delicious. Finished. Yeah.